Hi, my name is Dr. Jenna McDonald, and today we are looking at a patient who has osteogenesis imperfecta. This is more commonly known as brittle bone disease. There are eight types of osteogenesis imperfecta, ranging on a scale from mild to severe. Types 1, 4, 5, 6, and 7 are mild, and 2, 3, and 8 are severe. There is usually an equal distribution among male and female, and approximately every 1 in 12,000 to 15,000 people inherit the dominant trait of osteogenesis imperfecta. The symptoms of osteogenesis imperfecta are hearing loss, brittle teeth, loose joints, triangular face, short small body, malformed bones, low bone mass, curved spine, and sclera blue, purple, or gray. The patient we have today has type 3 osteogenesis imperfecta, or better known as progressive deforming osteogenesis imperfecta. The karyotype of someone with type 3 looks normal. This is because the deformity comes from a mutation in genes 7 and 17 in the collagen producing genes, COL1A1 and COL1A2. The patient we have today was diagnosed in the womb using a prenatal sonograph as shown in these photos. If she had not been diagnosed in the womb, she could have been diagnosed in an MRI scan or a CT scan later on in her life. The symptoms that she and others with type 3 display are triangular face, rarely able to walk, small misshapen teeth, and progressive deformity in areas such as the skull and the pelvis. They often have early death from respiratory infections, sclera blue in infancy, but then they turn normal in childhood. As of today, there is no cure for osteogenesis imperfecta, but you can treat it using medication, surgery, or care. You can administer pain medication, growth hormones to stimulate bone growth, perform a surgery called rotting where we insert a rod into the bone for support, you can care for brittle teeth, for broken bones, use aids such as back braces, perform physical therapy, and help them lead a healthy lifestyle. Unfortunately, the only things that we can do for people with type 3 are rotting, care for broken bones, and for brittle teeth because of its severity. Still. Rotting and care for brittle teeth and bones may not be enough to fully treat the osteogenesis imperfecta. I'm Dr. Jenna McDonald, and this concludes my presentation on osteogenesis imperfecta.